Hello everybody, this is Cassidy Beicher with Oshava.com here to walk you through and show you how to edit the Trap Code Birds template, a free After Effects template from Oshava.com. This template does require Trap Code Particular and Trap Code Form. Download links for those plugins are in the description here on the website or on YouTube. So you can see the animation plan here. I actually imported a high quality video file so I wouldn't have to RAM preview this. So I'm just going to delete that now. Click in here and deleting it. You obviously won't see this. Well, let's just hide it and click the shy layer here. So now we can see our loader bar here, which indicates that something's loading. And when that finishes, we'll be able to see the results. So on layer seven, you can see I have a trap code form layer. I'm just going to hide all the rest of these. So the processor isn't processing all of these trap code layers, which can get pretty hefty and bog down your processor. So you can see here we have a, a layer emitter um, as we're dragging the playhead through. We can see there are some particles forming, which is a custom particle. Let me actually disable motion blur here so we can work a little bit faster. It's a custom particle of a bird, obviously. So let's zoom in so we can take a closer look at what's going on visually. We can see we have our layer emitter using the text placeholder as a way to trigger the birds. So let's get to customizing. I'm going to double click on this text placeholder pre comp. And really, all we have to do is double click and type in the text that you want your birds to coalesce into. So I'm going to start with something just basic like fly. So it's nothing too extensive. This will make the tutorial shorter. And you can see that um, my transparency grid is on. I'm going to turn that off and change the background color to white so we can see the text a little better with the right contrast. And you don't have to do that. That's just a little tip if you ever get perturbed with a transparency grid. So just like that, with a simple modification of changing the text, we can see the trap code form layer recognizes it and displays our fly text, which is made possible by using uh, the layer maps function inside trap code form. So let's move on. I'm going to hide our trap code form layer just to save some time on processing. And I'm going to enable the trap code particular layer, which is another layer here, which is obviously doing some really cool organic looking dispersion. Now you could keep it that way with those two layers, the particular layer and the form layer. But why stop when you can make it cooler with just a few simple steps here? I want to show you how you can create paths with the trap code particular position property and create keyframes. You can see there's a ton of keyframes here. We're only going to worry about the position keyframe, which I have manually gone in and traced around uh, each letter here which I'm going to show you how to do. First, we're going to get rid of all the layers that I have. We'll use one as our guide. You can just delete all these layers and leave one of them. I'm going to leave the first B particular layer so we can use this and then duplicate it for all of our other letters. F L Y. So you can see our B particular layer needs to be moved over to the first F letter. So I'm going to do that by first of all, disengaging the, I'm going to hit U to reveal all of our keyframes to clean things up. You can see that there's some keyframes here on the position property. So that's essentially tracing the path around the letter B. So let's just click the stopwatch here because we don't want any of those keyframes. I want to move the position of our particular path over to our first F letter. I want to go back to the beginning at frame zero and unhide 
the text layer down here that's above the text placeholder. This is just for reference. This is going to help us create a path. So let's type in the same text that is in our text placeholder. So now we have a reference for the position path keyframes that we need to create. So remember, this text layer here is just for reference. So let's go back to the beginning and animate the position property to trace around the F. You can see there's a little cross here here that when you click on the trap code layer, you'll see a little position indicator that allows you to drag and animate. So I'm gonna hit the stopwatch, go down the timeline a few frames and drag this over to the left. So you can see I just created an animation going from left to right. I'm going to bring it down, take the playhead, move it a bit further along here, drag it back up. As you can see, our birds are now uh, flying in the direction that we're dragging the position. Let's zoom into our timeline by pressing the equal sign. I want to, I'm gonna hit, I hit it twice and I hit page down one frame because I want this to jump immediately to the center and wipe across to the right to create the second F stroke, whatever that thing is called. <laughs> After it wipes from left to right, we'll probably want to take it, move the playhead down, take it back to the left. So we're kind of just, if you can imagine, just wiping birds on and off to trace the path of your letters. Um, it's just an additional effect that really sells the idea that the birds are creating the letters. Our trap code form and particular layers that we edited prior are doing the trick, but this is that extra oomph that'll really make people wet their pants. Now I'm going to adjust the work area here. Whatever's in the range of the work area, as you hit the number zero on your numeric keypad, will render and then loop. So now we can appreciate the fruits of our labor and view our particles, our birds wiping to create our letter. I'm going to hide the uh, reference layer here so we can see exactly what it's doing. So you can see it's tracing the F, creating the letter F. It's pretty cool. And we, again, we've got some of our best layers hidden still here. I'm going to turn back on our reference layer and duplicate my first particular layer. I'll go up to edit and duplicate. Now we can see it just duplicated our first trap code layer. I'm going to rename these layers to the letters that they are actually visibly demonstrating. So F and L. So now we have two trap code particular layers oh, and they're both the same. So we need to modify the, the second layer that we just duplicated, the L layer. So I'm going to hit the stopwatch there. So all of our keyframes are erased and drag the position indicator to the top of the L here. Now we're going to wipe on the L with our custom particle layer. So I'm going to, well, if this ever happens, I just created a keyframe in the middle of the timeline here. You can drag a keyframe anywhere you want. So now we are where we need to be. And I'm just going to start again, going down the timeline, dragging our position indicator around, wiping on and creating a path for our lovely letter L. So we'll just go down the timeline, pretty much matching the pacing of our first F letter so that they kind of wipe on all at the same time with the, a similar type of movement. Okay, now let's duplicate this layer by hitting Command D, which is the shortcut, and identify this as letter Y. So now we have a duplicated layer that we can then trace around the letter Y with. So I'm going to hit U to reveal the keyframes and hit the stopwatch. 
Now let's take the playhead back to the beginning of the composition. Let's hit the stopwatch and create our first keyframe. And we have a nice starting position. Go down the timeline, wipe this on to the center of the Y. Move ahead, you know the drill. Go up. Trap code particular is just amazing. If you don't have the plugin, there's just an infinite amount of potential with what you can do with the plugin. And I've been using it since 2007. And that really dates me, but you know, I don't care. People come and go, but the right ones stay. So let's collapse all of our newly modified layers and turn back on our text placeholder layer. This has some effects on it, and we animate the opacity and some blur effects. We want to hide the reference layer, which is no longer needed. So as we take this back to the beginning of the timeline, we can see all of our hard work paying off. Birds creating words. So I'm really curious to see what our other layers look like turned on. I'm going to turn on the trap code form layer. Take this playhead to the beginning and adjust our work area. So now this is a blend of our trap code form layer with the... Oh, there you go. That bird didn't want to be a part of this animation. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn on uh, Particular. So now we have our form and particular layers um, emitting as they were. But at the same time, we can see our trap code particular layers wiping on the text at the same time. And it just creates a lot more dynamicism. I'm also curious to see what enabling motion blur uh, will do. Definitely going to increase the realism a bit. You can see our birds up here have a bit of motion blur due to the position of the emitter, wiping them, thrusting them across our canvas in a lovely fashion. Let's add this to the render queue by going up to composition, add to render queue. And this is the best way to get a high quality render. I'm going to click lossless, click on format options, got Apple ProRes 444XQ. There's no audio. I'm going to disable audio. Click OK. Click on the name, which will guide the file to your preferred destination. I'm going to name this something of related relevance. And once I'm done, hit save. And one thing I want to do is make sure my locators in their proper position as well. If I would have rendered that, it would have rendered only what was in the locators, which was only about a few seconds. So back to a render queue. When you're ready, get a cup of coffee and deploy, engage that render button. So you might be in for a wait. Oh, there's a lot of particular layers here, but no one has ever done anything interesting or worthy without putting in the time, right? Fly. Birds creating words with trap code particular and trap code form. Make sure you check out more of our freebies on oshava.com where you can download and customize amazing Adobe After Effects templates. Perfect for your next video project. We craft studio quality After Effects templates made by industry specialists like yours truly. This is Cassidy Beicher, Oshava.com.